Hey what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be going through the JC Wings July 2017 new releases. I'm on easytoys.com, go check them out, they're a great website. Um, as always when I've been away for a while, uh, I apologize, I, I honestly do. Um, but things are really out of my control because I'm, I'm very focused right now on uh, my career. Um, you know, engineer with engineering and I'm trying to get things sorted out. And there are other things in my personal life that need sorting out as well. So these breaks are not for nothing. But um, I just I just really wish I could constantly uh, keep putting up videos. But um, at this point, I cannot. Anyway, let's get started. We'll start with 1 to 400, one 400 scale first. Um, first up is the Capital Airlines A320. Registration number is B6952. Alright. Uh, again, Capital, Capital Airlines A320 um, Mingniu livery. Okay. Uh, registration is B6967. Um, yeah. Not really liking that. Uh, Chongqing Airlines A320 in the Meihao or Meihao livery uh, registration is B6761. That's looking uh, not bad. Another Chongqing A320, but this one has sharklets. This is in the Shang Wang livery. Registration is B8987. Yeah, not bad. Cathay Pacific A330 300 Spirit of um, Hong Kong. Uh, so it's got like the decals at the rear of the aircraft, but it's painted in the Cathay Dragon colors. Uh, registration is BHYB. And yeah, not, not too bad of a aircraft right there. Kunming A3, sorry, 737800. Um, this is in the Honghe Native Land livery. Registration is B1991. Something a bit different. Then we have the Hebei Airlines 737800. Registration is B7227. front of the aircraft looks really boring compared to the back. Um, could have done something better. Again, another one. This is the Enjoy Hebei. Oh, it's just got a decal at the front of the aircraft right there. Registration number is B1446. Yangtze River uh, Boeing 747-400 uh, BDSF uh, which is Bardic Special Freighter um, so it's obviously being converted in Israel uh, to become a freighter so it's not your just normal BCF which is a Boeing converted freighter um, registration is B2435 uh, and as you can see it's obviously been a previous passenger version that's why it's a BDSF uh, not just a, a normal F version um, I would love to see one in one to two hundred scale because I think this is a it's a pretty nice looking aircraft. Korean Air seven four seven dash eight Intercontinental registration is HL seven six three eight. I believe this one will be a hot seller in one to four hundred scale, as it was in one to two hundred scale. Pretty much every Korean Air model is a big seller. Um, then we have the freighter, uh, registration number is HL7639, again, yeah, definitely uh, a hot seller, so if you want to get it, um, got to get on, got to get onto it straight away, because they will be gone before you know it. Cathay 777300ER, registration BHNK. Uh, hmm. 
Spirit of Hong Kong. Well, this is a, definitely a 300 in the picture, on ER. ER. Um, I believe this is a 300 anyway, because the because of the registration. Uh, so I think the ER was mistakenly placed there. So, yeah, so I believe that's a 300. Um, easiest way is obviously just to search up the registration number. Uh, go on, well, airliners or plane spotters or jet photos, whatever. Um, you'll know straight away. J Air, um, a subsidiary of Japan Airlines. ERJ190 registration number is JA248J. This is the Minion Jet, so obviously from um, Despicable Me. Not bad. And now we move on to the 1 to 200 scale models. First up is the uh, TAP Portugal. A330, 300 in the 70s retro. Um, pretty nice retro actually. Registration number is CSTOV. And it's got their full name, uh, which is abbreviated to TAP. Transportes Aereos Portugues. <laughs> I will not attempt that again. Okay, yeah. Very good looking aircraft, but I don't think I'll get that one. And I won't get this one either. This is the TAP Portugal A330 300 retro um, style stop over livery so I don't know if this may have been applied to another aircraft uh, you know an older 80s aircraft maybe I, I really don't know um, maybe they just sort of bring that back or um, but it looks looks pretty good registration is CSTOW Uh, then we have the Cathay A330-300 um, BHYB, Cathay Dragon, Spirit of Hong Kong. Now this is a very long awaited model, we have had one before of course, but um, that was in the very early stages of the A380 moulds. and. Um, that sold out very fast. I was kind of lucky to get mine. Um, but yes, the Korean Air A380. Registration number is HL7628. If you want to get this, you cannot wait on it. It will go again. It will go really fast. Um, you have you have to go pre-order. Uh, you have no option. Um, I may get this one again because I, you know, I really love this livery on the A380. Um, but I'm not too sure. Tell me what you guys think. Um, of course, I, I do have that original one. But yeah, this is really meant for those who haven't got one yet. So, yeah, definitely get it. ANA 737-800, flower jet, livery, registration number is JA85AN. Hmm. Not something uh, I would typically look for. Malaysia 737-800. Registration number is 9MMXS. So it's basically the... Uh, got the Malaysian flag draped on um, the rear half of the aircraft. Looks uh, pretty good actually. Cathay Pacific 777-300 Spirit of Hong Kong livery um, registration BHNK same as a 1-400 to scale model and yeah I do believe it's a th just a standard 300 Pakistan International 777-300ER Colors of the Desert um, oh, tail uh, registration APBHV uh, I just got I've got the in-flight version and the standard livery and that's pretty much all I want. I had been waiting far too long for a JC Wings one, so I had to go for uh, uh, in-flight. Um, not too much of a fan of of you know different tails or anything like that. Um, more into the standard livery, unless of course they don't have a standard tail like Frontier or just like Air Austral right here. They don't have a a set tail. Design or color, they're different. Um, 
air austral 787-8 uh, F-O-L-R-C I've just received um, two air austral 787s uh, I, th I think yeah two there's two of them um, now if I don't have this tail I may get this one as well because I think it'd be nice to uh, complete the collection J Air ERJ190 again the Minion Jet registration JA248J pretty good not for me though uh, McDonald Douglas House Colors MD11 registration number is N211MD uh, very good looking aircraft MD11 is a fantastic aircraft overall uh, I will get this one over this one because the other one's got more color in, in it and it actually looks better with the um, extra color bands on the lower fuselage uh, this has a registration in 311 md sorry guys uh computer froze for a second uh, i had to restart what i was gonna say was um i believe this is like possibly the second um production md11 just by the registration but uh yeah i will i will get the um full house livery over over this one because um it's just a bit too boring anyway guys uh this is going to be it for this release i hope you have enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did comment in which models you're going to get um what you think of this release um just to go through which ones i'll be getting uh is the mcdonald douglas house colors um, possibly the Air Austral 787. May get the uh, Cathay 777-300. May also get the Korean A380. Um, but let me know what you um, what you think of of my choices. You know, uh, especially the um, Korean A380. Considering I've got one, but I think it might be good to get the newer uh, mold. Anyway, uh, subscribe for more. Please share this video as well so other people can know about these uh, releases and see if they want to get any of them as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.